Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto San Andreas on the Mysterious JG, and uh, we are facing down one mission and one mission only that is an option for us right now as far as advancing the story. Certainly you can, and I think in the past people probably have stopped at about this point and just kind of sucked in the world of CJ the Gangbanger, uh... With all the different side things that are available to you. You know, we could do... Um, it's not a recent... Like, the the, uh, are the driving driving arena thing is just kind of a it's, a... it's a ring. And you just go around. And I don't think I've ever actually placed first in it. At least not uh, in this, this run. I have, you know, PS2 maybe eventually did that. But yeah, you can drive around. Like, we've bought all the properties. There's not that many things to do. The story is... Like, if you feel like ignoring the story... Um, and by the time you've unlocked all of the cities, there's just a ton of shit going on. But we haven't. We've, uh, we're still, at this point, just in San Andreas. If we go to San Fierro or uh, Los Venturas, uh, we instantly get a 5-star wanted level. Or maybe it's only 4-star. Because 5-star and 6-star... Start giving you vehicles you can't get otherwise. So I don't think they like. I don't think they let you just quick, easy get a six star wanted level by heading out of town because people would find a way to use that to jack rhinos. Um, although again, in this game, I don't know if uh, you can store a rhino in a garage. I'm not sure I've ever gotten a rhino in San Andreas. Actually, I've heard they're not as <laughs> tanky as they are in three and uh, Vice City. I've seen pictures of what they look like. They look cooler. They look more like a real tank than the kind of silly, chunky tank from uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 and Vice City looks. But, uh, yeah, that's something we'll have to do eventually is get a tank. Um, but for now, we've got a mission to do for... Hold on. Does the S mean sweet or smoke? I'm not even sure. It is a mission for... Sweet, yeah, that's why there's a BS logo for Big Smoke. Which, hmm, BS, Big Smoke. Any significance to that, you think? Ah, seems to me like smoke's on the up and up. So let's find out what this mission is. Reuniting the families. I'll know the mission name when I see it, the one that's really going to turn the plot on its head, but we're not there yet. I've never What's understood up, this guy's What's watching porn together. I've never been that guy. Listen up, fellas. Like we were saying, no more banks in the streets. Finally, peep this. We want to unite the families once more because the ball has been pumping our guys full of base for too long while we argue amongst ourselves. So mm -hmm. all the family sets going to meet down at the Jefferson Motel. I say it's time we went down there and made it official. Keep that shit off our streets. I vote I'm our representative on this one. That's right. Hey, it's all good. If Sweet think he can handle it, I'm down with it, man. All right, let's roll, homies. Let's do this. Yeah, I thought go. you were the representative. Why are we going? And what's up with base? Base refers to a specific drug, I suppose. I don't know. I'm like the whitest white guy ever trying to figure this out. But um, and I've talked about this before. I want to go another long aside. It's a common thread in in you know movies tv shows but particularly video games it seems to me like when there's like something cool and glamorous about being a criminal you play the game where you're playing the role of a criminal but because we're supposed to like also be kind of a rooting interest it happens in tv shows too the rooting interest is somebody who's involved in crime so they'll have it so that there are other criminals who are trying to do worse things that are that are bad for the community whereas you're a criminal or the criminal that you're rooting for, if it's not a video game. It's just kind of, you know, there's a book, a hard copy book that used to be floating around in my parents' house. I'm not sure how it got there. They didn't, they, it didn't seem to be in character for them, but it's a book called Ain't Nobody's Business If You Do. And I never read the book, but I remember reading the back cover blurbs and being like, yeah, it's kind of interesting. It's like a, a history of um, morality-based crime, like law enforcement, like, you know, the history of societies coming down and putting like heavy legal penalties on things like consensual sex that is a crime or 
you know, not just meaning gay sex, or, but also including, like, prostitution. That's a whole fuzzy area, because prostitution gets so heavily linked with human trafficking. But what I'm getting at is, like, yeah, like, you could have, a, you could have, a, like, it, this is popular in Italian uh, mobster fiction, be like, oh, such and such gang is bringing in drugs and really tearing down this, the community. All we're doing is, is kind of governing prostitution and gambling. There's victimless crimes. These guys are bringing in cocaine, and it's really messing up the community. Or an actual thing in The Godfather, if you've ever watched the film or read the book, Italian, the Italian mafia was bringing in, like, cocaine, but it was only being sold in the black communities because, like, they kind of didn't care what happened to those people, but they didn't want good white kids getting hooked on this stuff. So that's a whole uh, murky, ugly business of its own. But, yeah, like... Sweet's whole deal is like, yo, I'm a gangster. I represent everything that's cool and bad. It's about gangster rap, except that bad part about the drugs, which is kind of important to it. The other thing I was going to get at with this was what's going on with uh, Ryder is clearly on drugs. And somebody was saying in the comments, oh, Ryder was always my favorite uh, member of Grove Street playing this game. I like Ryder too. There's something about his character that's just like really kind of appealing. Like he's just like fucked up on drugs, but he's also like, yeah, I mean, he, there's something about Ryder where, like, I want to root for Ryder. But he's clearly on drugs, so how are they always talking about, yeah, we're going to keep this base off the street? Base must be referring to a specific drug other than the one that Ryder's on. Because Ryder, I don't know if he's, he's, he seems like he should be on something more than pot. Like, I don't have a lot of experience with marijuana, personally. I know people who are into, you know, I've known people over the years who are into marijuana to various degrees. I guess some people smoke marijuana and, and are angry and violent people, but the, the stereotype is that it mellows you out. Ryder's clearly on something that's got him all wired, because it seems like at any moment he's just going to go off and, like, fucking try to kill CJ. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, like, Ryder being, like, committed, like, yeah, yes, we all join you, we'll fight these drugs, yeah, fuck, while constantly being keyed up on drugs. I don't get it. Anyway, get in the car and drive the crew. Maybe this is where we're told that we're a good driver. It could happen. Probably should have waited and gotten into this. Um, find out where this hotel is. Okay, it's up on the north side of town. Uh, Want to go about two blocks before we go right? Yeah, basically. Everything you do is a joke, Ryder. Oh, come on, Smoke. Interject before we get him upset. Tell us who's going to work a driver. Reuniting the family for no bullshit. Stay cool. You know me, sweet. Cool as a Shaolin monk. Especially you, Ryder. What you mean? I resent your implication and shit. Can we please get on with it up here, you fuckers? Kill him, babe. You gotta check yourself and stay cool. Chill, we'll put it like this. I understand what he's trying to say. But I'm always cool, fool. Hey, we all down with that, baby. It's a drug dealer on the street there to our left or right. So that we got real close, but we didn't get told we were a good driver by smoke. So I'm starting to think that just doesn't happen. I wanted to call it the Philip Michaels project. Okay, it's strictly one rep per set. You guys will have to wait here. We'll be there just in case, bro. Thanks, homie, but I'm down with these boys. Game seems dark, and not just because they're African American, like all the characters. Look at all the mother family hood. It used to be gross. A lot of shadow. Relax. We straight, they straight. How about you, Smoke? Hey, I'm feeling a little exposed, but I'm good. Uh oh. This is the Los Santos Police Department. Everybody stay where you are. Oh, shit! All you units, rock and roll! All units, we're using a trolling Man, what you doing? Go, get back in, man. We out of here, baby. I ain't leaving my brother. I ain't no buster. Man, it's every motherfucker for himself. Okay, so Smoke and uh, Ryder just flat out ditching us and sweet. That doesn't seem cool. Get inside and get, mo get sweet out of there. Okay, so we're not going to waste a lot of time trying to murder a bunch of cops. I am starting to wonder there, based on that that group shot of them in the car, can, yeah, display, can I, 
Let's brighten this thing up. Try this for a while because I was. It's really noticeable when I'm trying to do. Um, when I was picking out uh, thumbnails for my videos. Where the OGs at? I gotta get my brother sweet. They were meeting in the back of the motel someplace. Okay, I didn't realize I switched over to that WAP, but that's not. Oh, that's a go, guy. go, go! Yeah, being good with an AK is pretty handy in this place. Oh, baby, you're hurt. Uh-oh. I guess that gave us some health back? I didn't notice this before. So aggressive. Wait, did she take our health away? I thought we were at full health starting this thing. I think she might have taken health away. That was weird. Anyway, this is one of those... And San Andreas does this a lot. Interior uh, building and a mission that you can't you can't visit these interiors in free roam. They seem to put in a lot of empty rooms. This is where these guys came from. So you do those burglary missions, there's like three houses, it seems like, in the whole city. They didn't mean this way, huh? What the? Fuck. Yeah, really having some problems on this one. Um, let's try to get up those stairs in the hopes that there's a pickup or something up there. Because that doesn't seem to be the way that they want me to go for progress. Armor pickup. Yeah, I swear that lady took away health that I had. So we're just going to search these places. Uh, all these rooms are identical. Like, I, I'm not, it's not a complaint. You would think the rooms would be pretty much identical in a hotel or a motel, but... some suppressing fire in there whoever said that sounded really close it didn't sound like it was a Grove Street OG you saved me have some sugar I do not remember this happening when I played this off screen then again this is a mission I played after a couple of drinks all right maybe it has no effect on your health at all I'm just uh crazy but yeah hookers and motels there is a connection there you want a lead enema? You know, see if you can pay hookers to give them those. Okay, I'm not really having the most uh, skillful run of this in history. That's got to be the way to progress. There's too many enemies there for that to be a side path. Eh, my hopes of a new uh, power-up were dashed. Because I have not done particularly well on this uh, 
this mission so far. Give me that money. I got money. That's of uh, limited usefulness. Just keep hoping to find a heart or another. Two things of armor in the same mission would be pretty generous. I just haven't had a good run. They give me. They gave me plenty. Um, but a health pickup would be nice around now. Oh. I thought I saw... Oh, that's sweet. Let's go over here and see if there's any pickups before uh, we reunite with Sweet, because I don't think the mission will be quite over. we got to get him out. Yeah, a little disappointed that... Uh, Smoke and uh, Ryder would just ditch us. Okay, we did everything we could before triggering Sweet. You have to give him a trigger warning. There's certain things that upset Sweet. See what happens when we actually get to Sweet. Maybe I can avoid him even what further. We're smoking right. They shook on us. Fuck it, let's get out of here. Well, he doesn't seem to be that bothered about them leaving. He complains that we were late. one of the few weapons in the game that's going to give us uh... I'm hitting it, man. I don't want it to crash on us. You got to shoot it manually? Uh... Yeah. Can't auto-aim at a helicopter, but uh... Come on, CJ, let's go. No, oh, I just stopped to scratch my nose. That's probably a poor idea. Waiting for guys to jump out in front of us, but. Oh shit, what now? It's smoking rod. Oh, okay, that's actually good news. Get in! CJ, I'm a good driver! Hit the gas! Hey man, I'm running low! I got a K here! Just fucking antique! Which ones are going to keep following you? Yeah, I'm trying to shoot it at the back here. Um, what? Oh. Waste of good donuts. This roll. I was about to say we either just one or. else shooting here? In the membrane, man. I don't want to keep this whole thing over. Come on. I wrecked the car. But I seem to be okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> I just I can just waltz right out of the car. It's fine. Oh, but this is the problem. You get to these. Um, this wouldn't be an issue. I can't remember how Grand Theft Auto 4 handles it. Five has Red Dead Redemption 2 rules. Like you're just, we would be allowed to continue from right around the point where we had trouble. No problem. Um, so this, there might be. I don't remember this one as having been as troublesome to me as the one where you're fleeing uh, on the motorcycle with uh, smoke. So we might have been close to the end, but yeah, I gotta, I gotta get better at like, anticipating where I'm going to need to be shooting. And with the cars, I'm not always sure that I'm shooting at the right place. Like, should I be shooting at the driver's side? I keep thinking, hey, you can kill the guy driving the car. Um, not sure that it always works like that. But it definitely feels like nobody else is shooting. Pretty much, yeah. Telling a joke on the little Nick. Everything you do is a joke, Ryder. Hey, that ain't true. Right. Just chill the fuck out, man. Remember, we're reuniting the family, so no bullshit. Stay cool. You know me, sweet. Cool as a Shaolin monk. Especially you, Ryder. What you mean? I resent your implication and shit. Sweet's just saying you're a natural killer, mate. You gotta check yourself and stay cool. Yeah, well, put it like this. I understand what he's trying to say, but I'm always cool, fool. Hey, we all down with that, baby. Smoke seems to spend a lot of his time calming down everyone, particularly uh, Ryder. He's the peacekeeper of the Grove Street family. I don't know why we didn't get skip this drive for that one either. Okay, it's strictly one rep per set. You guys will have to wait here. We'll so, uh, unless I screw, I don't know that you get anything special for visiting those hookers. I mean, keep an eye on health and money, and somebody tell me if I lost either one as a result of visiting with the uh, scantily clad women in the motel. Shouldn't assume they're hookers, of course, but. I did uh, change the uh, display to get it. Oh no! It didn't stick. Am I crazy or did it not actually. Okay, because it. Oh, because I loaded. I was going to say that, that cinematic looked dark as hell. All right, I might be able to take this a little faster and less cautious. Oh, and vending machines for health. I forgot all about that mechanic. Where the OGs I can... at? I got to get my brother, Sweet. They were meeting in the back of the motel or someplace. I can back off if I get ever to the point where I need health restored. Go, go, go! So I went in and talked to her. Oh, what baby, happened? Baby, you're hurt. I had full health, and yeah, it really is a thing. You lose health from that. Oh, well, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, if I fail this thing before the video is over, then so be it. That was my own foolishness, I suppose. See what you do. Saved me. Have some sugar. Give me some sugar, baby. Ah, I want some sugar, baby. Ah, that's the uh, 
the old um, demon version of Ash from Army of uh, Darkness. Because I've seen Evil Dead 1 and Evil Dead 2 at some point over the years, but uh, Army of Darkness was the one that it was more of a push to get mainstream marketing for, and um, I guess horror purists think that it's the weakest because it's got the most comedy. That's a good freaking movie, man. Never seen Army of Darkness? Pause this video, go watch it, and then unpause this video. What you Fancy rolls often aren't that helpful to them. Huh? Alright, and Sweet was over here. What took you? We're smoking rice. They shook on it. Fuck it, let's get out. But here. they're gonna rescue us at the end. So like I was all worked up about that. It doesn't really matter. Now, it seems like Ryder could have come and helped us while Smoke made sure to get a vehicle. But he already had a vehicle, so it does kind of feel like they both just felt guilty and came back. Or one of them felt guilty and possibly... Actually, my headcanon as Ryder was like, Fuck it, let him die! <laughs> and then um, Smoke, who was actually driving the car, prevented that. Because he was like, I feel bad about letting Ryder. I mean, uh, sweet CJ die. They're good friends. Now I'm segueing into like the weird uh, voice that um, Bobo and I gave Mark Henry when Come he appears on, in various go. SmackDown games. Oh, no, Frank. I don't want to go this way. It leads to a mission that I'm not comfortable with. <laughs> There's no escape. <laughs> At least we have infinite AK ammo. I, I don't know if this... I don't know whether or not this is going to mess up our AK ammo counter when we're done with the mission. And infinite ammo, you are forced to use it weapon in the same slot as an AK definitely would when we'd come back from this mission, but... Hey, man, I'm running low. I got a K here. I wasn't actually running low, was the thing. All right. Not really doing that good here. Oh, fuck. Okay, I keep thinking that's it. It's not. I don't know how much of this we gotta do. Okay, got him before he did anything. Insane, dude. Be nice if you were that somebody, writer. I'm trying, you guys. I really am. Oh, come on! I think that was it, too! Oh, well, we got real close that time. I guess we'll be trying it again next time. So, yeah, not all these missions are going to be uh, beaten on the first try, but um, that's part of the fun that is Let's Playing when you're doing it as a hobby and you're not really editing out fails. 
<laughs> is it fun for you? I don't know. Um, probably not. When we come back next time, we'll be trying this mission some more. All we had to do was follow the damn train. Bye-bye.